Hello dear viewer and welcome to this let's try of Shining Beyond. It's rated ages 9 plus on the App Store. We do not want notifications. It is a free to play idle RPG. You may have noticed that while ill I have uh, looked into more idle RPGs while not feeling great. Uh, let's agree to this policy to check it out. This is apparently from the makers of Valiant Force. I'm going to sign in and we'll get back to it. Okay, this one has an anime art style of sorts. And let's go in. Ah, and you can see the Japanese, I want to say, katakana. It's been a while since I've looked it up. There's hiragana, katakana, kanji, and I feel like there's another one. But this one is 2.2 megabytes, or sorry, 2.2 gigabytes of data. So it is large. Oh, it was a magnificent battle for the ages. Terrible, mag magnificent nonetheless. The Dark King, leader of the elves, unleashed the sum of his rage and might against the Red Witch, who responded in equal fury. Their cataclysmic battle threatened to sunder the realm itself, until the Dark King, expending every last bit of his power, sealed the Red Witch at the cost of his own life. The days that followed were scenes of utter despair. Robbed of their leader, the denizens of Feldria were all but powerless as the generals of the Red Witch stepped in to fill her place. Establishing a monarchy they dubbed Imperius. Under the banner of Imperius, war criminals, men and children alike, were forced into war slavery. Little more than cannon fodder for the army that enslaved them. The best performers earned the questionable privilege of leading the never ending assault against their own people. As the realm descended into darkness and chaos, small sparks struggled to preserve the dying light of hope. Pockets of organized opposition banded together in an attempt to slow the endless march of the Empire. They are warriors, leaders and fighters like Jake Galahad, who is little more than a war slave of the Empire. Rescued from their clutches by members of the Resistance, he overcame great odds to pick up his sword once more, fighting against the very forces who once enslaved him. In spite of their best efforts, the Resistance lost ground day by day. The battle coming to a head when the Empire mounted a crushing offensive hitting every known resistance hideout with their overwhelming military might. On this day, true despair descended upon Jake and his team as they struggled to hold off a blood lord, one of the greatest generals at the head of the Empire. In a show of true sacrifice, Jake threw himself into the fray against the towering Goliath alone, buying time for his team to escape, and was subsequently caught and imprisoned. Stripped of his armor and his father's sword, Jake was unceremoniously tossed into the depths of one of the Empire's many dungeons, the Jailer's gleeful promises of torture echoing off the cold still. However, this young warrior is far from done. So where were we? I think they may have misdone something, because it looks like this is the Dark King's Empire, since he sealed away the Red Witch. Not the Red Witch's Empire of her, you know, beaten generals. I don't know. But that looks like the Dark King right there. Unless he's in jail. You never know. Okay. Well, some of these art designs make me wonder if this is really intended for ages 9+. plus. So, there is that. This is my first time playing the game. So, yeah. Okay, well, Arissa Minerva. An Acolyte. We can continue. So, yeah, even though this was 2.2 gigabytes initially, it looks like there's still a lot of downloads. So, hmm. This is going to be a big game, I think. Or lots of art assets. Hmm. Okay, daily quest. Every day for rewards. Okay. Nefario. Get up, Jake Galahad. You have better places to be. The elf tosses a battered sword at Jake. It isn't much, but I know you can make good use of it. Wait, are you resistance? Resistance? This is the one and only... We can either waste time making small talk here, or we can fight our way out to find your friends who need you. 
You don't have to ask twice. Hostiles closing fast, Lord. Um, Nathaniel. Well, the exit won't come to us by itself. To the next room, lad. Okay. Tap the right arrow or swipe left to proceed to the next room. Okay. North this time, and try to keep up. Hey, I'm in the front, so I think you're lying. Okay, yeah, that transition is a little bit weird. I prefer to tap over there and swipe. <sighs> they found us after all. But we have sweet, sweet piles of cash next to us, so we're going to take those. Nothing we cannot simply fight our way through, young Jake. Okay, and they're idly attacking without my input. Let's use Nefarial right here. Can I tap on his special ability? No? Hmm. Do pay attention. I, I knew that. I missed half of her stuff. Sorry. So we can tap on the target. Good to know. I guess the shaman kept on healing the other guy. Another healing spell. Oh no, you don't. Use your stun skill. Booyah. Oh, it's the little square. Lion's Roar. Excellent. Now let us finish this. Booyah. Okay. I just have a hard time believing our super-powered dudes are having trouble with these guys. They're left behind a treasure chest. Perfect. I need all the gear I can get. Yes. Give me that loot. Oh, it looks like I couldn't click directly on it, weirdly enough. Okay. Moving to the right. Ooh, another couple of rooms and we'll be free of this place. A healing shrine? It seems my fortune is beginning to change at last. Okay. Yeah, I'd like some healing, please. Heals 1,000 HP instantly. Sounds good to me. Ready yourself. The dungeon's warden guards the exit in the next room. A vicious murderer who delights in his gruesome reputation. Okay. Uh, we're going to the right. All right then. Blood Warden. Undead. Hmm. I think Vicious Murderer is underselling it. Back in the cage. Back in the cage. Back in the cage. Etc. Etc. You like? He's cursed with blood magic. Put this abomination out of its misery. Sounds like something we can do. Okay, I want to wait till he's using a skill. Uh huh. Incoming boss skill. I sense a dangerous built up of energy. It would be prudent to move out of its range. She means a big attack is coming. We should get out of the way. I know what she meant. Alright, tap and hold down. Okay, because we can't move off screen while there's no arrows, it looks like. Makes sense. That was too close. Blood magic or not, you're going down. Alright, you two. Stand back. I've got this. Your hero's skill is ready. Okay, so we can tap on their portrait for their... Like signature move. Okay, White Lion's War Song. Yeah, did you see that? It was half decent. Next time, you can try defeating one of these creatures on your own. What? The Blood Warden gets up with a, with a roar, starts charging towards our heroes. Finally, fresh air once again. But wait, where are you going? Places. You didn't think I was going to escort you anywhere, did you? Why did you bail me out, then? Who sent you? Questions for another time, I'm afraid. A storm is coming, Jake Galahad, and we will meet again sooner than you think. On your way now. Okay. Well, it's interesting. They have kind of these 3D models and then the 2D artwork sometimes. Hmm. Hi there, soldier. Welcome to the brand new hideout. Oh my, you look like you've been through hell. I'm Jenny. I'm new to the team, but I've been doing my best. And don't you worry about a thing. We'll get you patched up good as new. Well, now that you're all better, let's get you up to speed. But before that, there's someone here who's anxious to meet you. Let's summon her this instant. Okay. Well, I kind of liked the lady with the giant arms. Just, you know, summoned by her side. 
That was pretty cool. I missed her name, unfortunately. Okay, why do we have this strangely, like, Diablo angel-esque lady with the energy wings summoning people wounds? Hmm. I guess we'll find that out sometime later or never. Oh, okay. Here's Arissa Minerva, the Acolyte, right? Is that the same person? You'd do well not to wander off on your own. After all, I'm the one who keeps the shadow of death at bay. Oh, it looks like everybody has a quote after they're summoned. We've been low on manpower ever since that last terrible battle. Be sure to check around to see where your help is needed. Check your guide quests. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, I'll get my stuff. Looks like there might be a winter event going on. Hmm. We're gonna have formations. Okay. Let's turn down the music a little bit. That is not turning it down. Okay. Alright then. What else do we have? Alright. Destiny beckons. Let's see what adventures are here. If you're all set, let's head out into town to investigate. I'm really surprised this game has an ages 9 plus rating so far. I've already seen the word hell. <laughs> Seems like the ladies are uh, definitely designed to uh, attract attention, shall we say. Hmm, let's set up your squad for this mission. Okay. I'll take our squad. Looks like we should have four people. Oh, we do have four people. Well, okay, then. Oh, we don't have Nefari over. Too bad. Very sad. I liked his quips. Okay. To the next battle. And it looks like there are different rewards. Like that three stars for the mission. If you accomplish each thing, you can unlock a different reward. That's always fun. That's replayability. Baptism of Fire. The usual peace in the streets of Brandy is shattered by shouting and screaming. Well, that's not a good sign. They're saying the Empire is the entire town surrounded. How could they have known we are here? I mean, they did find all of the hideouts simultaneously, apparently. So, yeah. They seem to be good at what they're doing. There aren't too many places to hide near where I was held. Stay calm, Marissa. I'm not planning to get caught a second time. Okay, complete the mission with no more than two heroes defeated. And we want to do it within three minutes, basically. Two and a half, but who's counting? All right, we seem to be doing just fine. I'm not going to worry about activating any skills or anything yet. Okay, uh, give me that thing. It's shiny. I want it. What? Archer, fallen boss. Okay. I guess it moved me automatically. Even though I was trying to do other stuff. Let's activate those side things. So, Poison Sting. I could do my stun, but we don't need it. Uh, we can move everybody away, right? Move everybody out of the way of those things, you know? Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and heal people. Okay, incoming boss thing. Oh, okay, it's just targeting my one B. That's why it's difficult to see. Hmm. Plus, it doesn't help to see little... Aha, okay. So tap up it at the top right. You can get rid of those. Okay. Yeah, I want that XP. Give me that XP, please. I'm guessing that's what that is. Hmm. I'm not quite certain what she said there. So yeah, we did all three of those things. We got loot. Glorious loot. Okay. More of these crystal things. We can give him. Okay, and then I can put in a name. Well, apparently I'm not Jake Galahad anymore. So, alright then. I'll be Jalanon then. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So far, we're getting our login stuff. Campaign energy, of course. It's always a thing. Keep you playing as long as I can. 
Hmm. Pre-registration rewards. That's nice of them. Looks like summoning tickets as well. Um, meal energy gifts? Okay. Can we stack? Yeah, we can stack energy above our maximum. That's nice. Announcement. Okay. News. That's nice. There's an event. Other stuff. Okay. Now let's claim another quest. Oh yeah. Boot camp has its timer reduced. That's nice. No idea what it is, but it's nice. Okay. Uh, daily gems giveaway. Don't mind if I do. What about you? Okay. And it looks like they might do the battle pass thing where you pay money. And yeah, you get further rewards and stuff. 20 bucks for the battle pass. Hmm. Oh. Go back, please. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, we did that. New player rewards. Okay. Level up rewards. Oh, wait, that's 15 bucks. No, thank you. Okay, so yeah. They have other things that'll reward you if you pay that. So, alright then. I think we have summoning tickets. Let's see what we can get. Grand Hero Summon. Ooh, I get one free one. Well, okay then. We can skip that. And we get this person. And then we have 10 more of these. So guaranteed SR on 10 times summon. What about all these guys? Featured summon. Okay. Friendship point summon. Okay. Well then, let's try to summon some more people. Completed some achievements. All right then. Confirm. The last time. My name is Argnus. Do try to remember it. Our cooperation only lasts as long as our goals are mutual. So try not to get too comfortable. Okay. Oh, this is everybody that we unlocked that's unique, I guess. Aria of House Thane at your service. My sword arm is the real deal. Battle tested and 100% committed to the cause. Okay. Lulu. Etc. Etc. Makoto. Okay. And Isabella. Okay. So we got some more people in the team. They're probably higher quality than some of our other people. I think. Okay. Yeah, it's often very hard to... Oh, we can just click claim all. I love it when games do that. Makes life so much easier. Okay. And here's our boot camp. Hmm. For every guide quest completed, it will add 25 minutes of total time. Interesting. Okay. So we want to level up any hero. Okay, so we have three SR... Okay, we do have Artemis, who I believe was with us at the beginning. Yes, we have Artemis! Okay. I loved her giant arm things. That was just fun. Oh, man. Felt very anime. So what can we do with the gear? Ruby ring, HP, attack, for Artemis only. Okay, then. You, Artemis, get that. And, hmm. Immortals, Valor wings, defense, HP. Let's go with HP. Okay. Hmm. What is her... Okay, she's basically an archer with support stuff. Okay. Well, I mean, when you can shoot your arms across a room, that's pretty useful. Okay, so she gets plus 150% bonus to all stats, it looks like. Let's level you up. Uh, what can we do if we click max 10? Okay, so we'll hit the max. Level up, please. All right. Is she sitting on her hands? <laughs> That's funny. I like it. Okay. 
So, resting on your laurels, a whole new meaning. Okay. Mm, can we promote? We probably need, aha. Yeah, more of her shards. Looks like 200, wow. It looks like there's only six stars total. So, eh, probably similar to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes where it's like, what, 780 stars back in the day to get to seven stars? It took a while. <laughs> Okay. Let's see, is there also an online chat, it looks like? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's another thing parents might want to be concerned about. Okay. We've got Jake. Anybody else SSR? Nope. Not yet. There's Isabella, Lulu, Arissa. Okay. So she's probably going to be useful in the future as well as a healer. You always take care of your healers. Or else you die. Simple enough, you think. But it's a lesson that everyone needs to learn in every RPG ever. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we have five SR people. Let's level up Jake. Oh, okay. And it looks like you do gain XP with uh, each time you go out and adventure. So we probably don't need to level up to the max. Oops. Okay. And there's a Winry. Hmm. Full Metal Alchemist reference? I don't know. So we'll claim all that for now. Hmm. Hold up any gear. Okay. Olivia's Chaos Blade. Where are the arm things? Oh well, we'll level up the ring. We know we have that. Can I enhance it? It's locked. So I don't think I can level that up right now. Not until I get further in the story, or something. Okay, and some of these chests you can just open. Hope you get stuff. Hmm. What do we get? Fifteen hero shards. What about you? Just energy. Okay, so we've done some stuff. Let's do one more little adventure. Adventure! Uh, quick battle? Is that just do it automatically? No. Okay, so we can only have four people on the team. Uh, let's get rid of our rares and put in our super bats. Like Artemis and Makoto. Alright. And what were you good for? Hmm, not a lot. Maybe we can unlock larger formations later, but my guess is it's always just four people. I don't know. Uh, you can also create or join to add party members. So maybe it's maxed at five people, one of which always being a friend. Kind of like Dragalia Lost, I think. Okay. All right, people. We're going to auto this. Speed up button. Okay. Auto path button. And this is the auto skill button. Okay. Okay. So, auto, and speed. I think we'll be fine, considering who we have sent. Okay. And do they automatically... Okay, so the blue stuff, it looks like you can't really just hover over to pick up anyway. Okay. We're doing fine, though. Hmm. Aha, the Royal Guard. Okay, so do they activate stuff when it's necessary automatically, or... White Lion's Force... Okay. Yeah, she's not healing right now, which is pretty good. Okay, now she is. But she's keeping him alive. Okay... Oh, we destroyed the boss before she could activate her ability. <laughs> well, okay. All right. Well then, I think we'll call it a Let's Try, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've enjoyed Shining Beyond. Subscribe to see more iOS gaming videos. Comment below on what you think of the game. I think personally, it should be ages 12 plus, based on some of the language used, some of the character designs, etc., etc. Let me know what you think. But. Uh, yeah, there's also enough stuff where it's like there's in-app payments, there's world chat that parents should probably be a little more concerned about some of this stuff. So, yeah.
i hope you have a great day dear viewer